example, I can go to a standard table view. We'll make a switch. This is all in the virtual machine. And now you can see that uh, there are actually a couple of fields in my and this goal is schema. Should be. There is the name of the goals themselves, and there's a little bit of descriptive text. Uh, this is a reflection view, so it's standardized. That's why these columns are not ordered yet in the right way. We'll fix that later. Okay, so that's one view. A table makes a lot of sense if you want to reason over a set of things, right? Uh, another thing that I can do is I can switch this view here to a tree view. So let's look at what that would look like. Uh, so I see my business goals again. And now what I can do is I can drill in to the sub goals. I can also see for happy customers, for example, I have some priorities. I think great support and fast service is a little bit more important than the right pricing structure. You know, because if you do a good job, you know, they will pay. So the idea of the tree view is I can really explore deep what relationships my model has to other models, right? For example, I can uh, go deeper here, great support, and you can actually see that this is owned by a person, uh, by Karen. Okay, so three different views to deal with sets of data. Now I want to actually look at a, at a business goal itself. So let's take the happy customers here. And you can see when I hover over an icon, it always gets a little bit bigger um, because icons for us are a little bit like hyperlinks in the browser. I almost want to call them hyper icons. Whenever you see those guys, you know you have a handle to a model entity and you can interact with that. So I can take it, for example, and drag it out onto the workspace. And now what I'm doing is I'm opening another view, which is a property form of this entity, okay? And you can see that I'm showing my three goals right now just as a count of, of those three guys, right? And you've seen the table already, and the principle of quadrant is that whenever you see an entity icon anywhere, you can choose what view you want to use to visualize that. Uh, if I had fully customized this tool, you would have not seen it like